The bar hang is a common exercise that not only athletes enjoy using in their workouts, it is popular with gymnasts, rock climbers, and parkour enthusiasts. Exercises on the bar optimally load the muscles of the upper part of the body and are included in the list of basic exercises. You can train with the bar every day. In this video, we'll tell you what happens to your body if you hang on the bar every day. So watch till the end. It will be informative. Benefits for posture and spine Every gym, backyard gym, and many houses have a chinning bar. Hanging on it contributes to the workout of the upper body, increases the tone and the uniform development of the back muscles. If you hang on the bar on the regular basis, then your spine forms and functions properly, and the risk of dystrophic disorders is reduced. The spine is constantly under pressure. The discs between the 26 vertebrae act as a shock absorbers, but when stresses are excessive, the discs shrink, resulting in dysfunction and impaired spinal motion. A person begins to develop osteochondrosis, scoliosis, and other deformities of the tissues of the spinal column. Hanging on the bar relieves stress, compression workload and individual vertebrae disappears. The spine is given a break. During the exercise, the muscles warm up and the blood circulation increases. The blood vessels also receive a kind of training, contributing to their strengthening. In this way, hanging has the following effects. Evenly distributes the workload on the spine, relieves the intervertebral discs, relieves tension, stimulates blood circulation, serves as a prevention of dystrophic disorders. Hanging on the chinning bar is useful even for those who are already experiencing back problems. Diseases of the intervertebral discs thin the cartilage tissue. Deformation leads to impaired blood circulation. Poor nutrition leads to poor joint function, impaired mobility, and back pain. With a simple daily hanging on the chinning bar, you can alleviate the condition and achieve improvement. Benefits for muscle development Athletes, with the help of hanging on the crossbar, get a well-developed relief back, pumped up muscles. It is fair to say that the exercise doesn't help build muscles, but it definitely helps to maintain the results achieved in training. You can but agree that this is a fairly easy way to maintain the volume. A wide grip is most effective for a wide back. A narrow grip allows you to engage the muscles of the chest and arms. Hangs can be done both on straight arms and bent arms. Hanging on the crossbar will help strengthen the abs. The exercise can compete in effectiveness even with machines. Only the hanging should be combined with raising straight legs. A long hanging makes the forearms strong. The best trained athletes hang for one minute on each arm alternately. The result will soon be noticeable by the strength of the handshakes. The chinning bar is ideal for people with sedentary lifestyles. In one minute, they save themselves from the danger of developing hypodynamia, take care of a healthy circulatory system, and significantly increase muscle tone. What happens if you hang upside down on the chinning bar every day? Are you tired of hanging in the usual way? It's time to master hanging upside down on the chinning bar. To do it properly, you will need inversion boots. They are a leather or metal frame on the outside and are attached to each shin. The boots have a dense foam in the middle and they also have a hook with which to cling to the bar. To do the element, you need to press your arms against your chest or pull them down and relax your spine as much as possible. A beginner can hang like this for no more than 20 seconds. But even in this time, you can get a huge benefits like relief of pain in the thoracic and cervical regions, improving blood circulation, increased mental performance, relaxation of muscular tissues, unloading and straightening the spinal column. In the future, you can increase the time of the exercise. What can replace the usual hanging? If the usual hanging and hanging upside down is boring and seems easy, Additional exercises can be added. They can be subdivided into elements with leg raises and elements with different arm positions. Legs and knees lift. Leg lifts are a twisting of the spine 
with bending at the hip joint. Often, bending at the knee joint is also added. The main purpose of this exercise is to work the rectus abdominis muscle. While retracting the abdomen, the transverse abdominal muscles are put to work, and while rotating upward from shoulder to shoulder, the oblique muscles are put to work. In addition, other muscles – forearms, broad and rhomboid, biceps and quadriceps of the thighs, straight back muscle, work in dynamics. You can also strengthen your abs by bringing your knees to your chest. But this movement should take place not by throwing the legs up, but by contraction of the abs. To engage oblique abdominal muscles, you should do curls in a hanging position with raised knees from one shoulder to the other. A more complicated variant of leg lifts is to lift your toes to the bar. In this case, first bring the pelvis to the ribs and then bring the toes to the bar by rotating the shoulders. Hanging on bent arms, hanging on one arm. When doing the element, you can put an increased load on the arms. To do this, just bend them at the elbows. It would seem that such a movement would make the task easier. In fact, in this position, almost all muscles of the arm work – the brachial, the brachioradialis, and others. This happens due to the fact that the forearm flexors are statically tense and strongly contracted. If you also bend your knees in this position, a strong load is put on your abs. In addition, by shifting the center of gravity forward, the deltoid and pectoral muscles get involved. Yeah, the exercise involves many muscles, but it's very difficult to hold this position for a long time. One more complicated variant for advanced people is hanging on one arm. This element can be mastered for the sake of sportsmanship. But for example, for acrobats or rock climbers, the exercise is a necessary element. Also, such training is a way to increase the strength of the arms to unreal figures. An ordinary hanging on the bar is as useful as pulling up on the horizontal bar, bars or rings. But it is much easier to do. If you're not satisfied with the condition of your spine, abs, arm strength or back relief, if you're hypodynamic and dissatisfied with your height, it is time to master this simple element. Do you include hanging on the bar into your workout routine? Share your experiences in the comments. Friends, we recommend to watch another of our videos in which we talked about the benefits to the body of taking a daily cold shower. It will appear on your screen and there will be a link to it in the description and the attached comment. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If it was interesting, press the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot of useful information. See you soon.